In this video, we will learn how to create three different types of hooks using an interesting fact, a question, and a story. We will also review some grammar rules that should be followed to create an effective hook. Now we can look at how a hook is structured. There are two parts to an effective hook. Part one introduces a surprising or interesting situation in the local market. Part two shows how the situation led to a problem or need creating a business opportunity. In part one, the speaker has three options for introducing the situation. The speaker could share an interesting fact, a question, or a story. Let's start with the first option. In the model elevator pitch we have studied, the speaker shared an interesting fact about the market by describing a common experience. In my local market, there is so much traffic that it sometimes takes people an hour to drive just a few kilometers. The speaker could also choose to share an interesting or surprising statistic, which is a number that represents a fact about a group of people or a situation. Here is an example of a statistic. In my local market, the average driver spends 93 hours sitting in traffic each year. Both of these interesting facts were introduced with the phrase, in my local market. This structure helps to draw attention to the target market from the beginning of the pitch. The second option for creating an interesting hook is to ask a yes or no question. Often in an elevator pitch, these questions begin with the words, have you ever? For example, have you ever tried to deliver an important package in a traffic jam? This is a common experience in my local market. Notice how the question asks about an experience that a potential customer might have. It doesn't matter whether the listener's answer is yes or no, but it helps the listener imagine having the same experience. Let's review some grammar rules for forming have you ever questions. Have you ever questions use the present perfect tense because they ask about someone's experience up to or before now. The phrase have you ever should be followed by a past participle. We form the past participle for regular verbs by adding ed to the end. Here are some other examples. Have you ever wanted? Have you ever wished? And have you ever needed? This structure can be used to create a hook with a question. Have you ever with a past participle followed by a verb phrase? Then, this is a common situation in a specific market. Here's the best bicycle delivery service example again. Notice how it follows these grammar rules. Have you ever tried to deliver an important package in a traffic jam? This is a common experience in my local market. Sometimes a hook can include both a question and an interesting fact. Usually these hooks begin with the words did you know that? For example, did you know that it can take people an hour just to drive a few kilometers in my local market? Notice that the speaker uses past tense to ask this question. Did you know? Why does the speaker say, did you know, instead of do you know? It might seem strange to use the past tense when asking about someone's present knowledge but the speaker is really saying, did you know this fact before I told you? Now you know. 